Hello and welcome. Adolescence period is a very important phase of human life as this phase is a transactional period between childhood and adulthood. In this phase, both growth and development takes place in full potential and people are mainly covered by peer groups. G. Stanley Hall reflected and in 1904 he brought a theory which is now known as Strom and Stress model. He referred three key domain areas of Strom and Stress and these are conflict with parents, mood disruption and risk behavior. This theory mainly deals with these three core components and today in this session I will discuss the Strom and Stress model developed by G. Stanley Hall. Strom and Stress first coined by G. Stanley Hall, the first president of the American Psychological Association. Strom and Stress refers to the period of adolescence in which teenagers are in conflict with their parents, are moody and engage in risk behavior. Hall, in 1904, was the first to consider the Strom and Stress issue explicitly and formally in relation to adolescent development, but he was not the first in the history of Western thought to remark on the emotional and behavioral distinctiveness of adolescents. Aristotle stated that youth are heated by nature as drunken men by wine. Socrates characterized youth as inclined to contradict their parents and tyrannize their teachers. He also relied on a stormy metaphor in describing adolescence. All favored the Lamarckian evolutionary ideas that were considered by many prominent thinkers in the early 20th century. Pruitt and Jung included to be a better explanation of evaluation than Darwin's theory of natural selection. Hall is often portrayed as depicting adolescent storm and stress as universal and biological. He acknowledged individual differences such as conflict with parents are more likely for adolescents with rudder natures. Also, he believed that a tendency towards strong and stress in adolescence was universal and biological based. But culture also influenced adolescents expression and experience. He saw strong and stress as more likely to occur in the United States of his day than in older lands with more conservative traditions. In his view, the storm and stress of American adolescence was aggrieved by growing urbanization with all its temptation to vice and by the clash between the sedentary quality of urban life and what he saw as adolescents' inherent need for activity and exploration. Hall also believed that adolescent storm and stress in his time was aggrieved by the failure of home, school, and religious organizations to recognize the true nature and poten potential perils of adolescents and to adapt their institutions accordingly. G. Stanley Hall in 1904 view that adolescence is a period of heightened 
from and stress is reconsidered in the light of contemporary research. The author provides a brief history of storm and stress view and examines three key aspects of this view. Conflict with parents. Adolescents tend to be rebellious and to resist adult authority. Adolescents is a time when conflict with parents is especially high. Paul in 1904 viewed adolescents as a time when the wisdom and advice of parents and teachers is overtopped and in rural natures may be met by blank contradiction. He viewed this as due not only a human evolutionary history but also to the incompatibility between adolescents' needs for independence and the fact that parents still think of their offspring as mere children and tighten the reign where they should loosen it. Contemporary studies have established the conflict with parents increases in early adolescence compared with pre-adolescence and typically remains high for a couple of years before declining in late adolescence. This conflict makes adolescence difficult, not just for adolescents, but for their parents. Parents tend to perceive adolescence as the most difficult stage of their children's development. However, it should be added that there be substantial individual differences and there are many parents and adolescents between whom there is a little conflict even if overall rates of conflict between parents and children rise in adolescents. Conflict between parents and adolescents is more likely when the adolescent is experiencing, experiencing depressed mood when the adolescent is experiencing other problems such as substance abuse and when the adolescent is an early maturing girl. Mood disruption. Adolescents tend to be more volatile emotionally than either children or adults. They experience more extreme of mood and more swings of mood from one extreme to the other. They also experience more frequent episodes of depressed mood. Risk behavior. Adolescents have higher rates of reckless, non-breaking non and antisocial behavior than either children or adults. Adolescents are more likely to cause disruptions of their social order and to engage in behavior that carries the potential for harm to themselves and or the people around them even if even if we accept the argument that adolescence is a time of heightened tendency towards trauma and stress the question of why this should be so remains to what extent do the roots of storm and stress lie in biological changes that take place during puberty to what ex extent are the roots cultural and with adolescent storm and stress being especially pronounced in cultures that value individualism. Culture evidence indicates that biological changes make some contribution. With respect to mood disruptions, reviews of the effects of hormones on adolescents mood have concluded that the dramatic hormonal changes that accompany puberty contribute to emotional volatility and negative moods, particularly in early adolescents when the rate of hormonal change is steepest. However, scholars in this area emphasize that the hormonal contribution to adolescent mood disruptions appear to be small and tends to exist only in interaction with other factors. 
more generally with respect to mood disruptions as well as with respect to conflict with parents and risk behavior. Too little is known about the role of biological factors to make definitive statements at this point about the role they may play in adolescents' trauma and stress. Numerous possibilities exist concerning biological influences on storm and stress and the interaction between biological and cultural factors. For example, recently a phenomenon called delayed phase preference has been identified, which is a tendency based in the biological changes of puberty for adolescents to prefer staying up until uh, relatively late at night and sleeping until relatively late in the morning. Does the cultural practice is requiring adolescents to get up in the early morning to attend school, even earlier than young children, result for some adolescents in a sleep deprived state that may contribute to mood disruptions and more frequent conflict with parents. Other possible biological contributions to adolescent storm and stress include genes that may become active in adolescents and increase the likelihood of mood disruptions as well as biological basis for developmental changes in characteristics such as emotional regulation that is mood disruption aggressiveness con that is a conflict with parents and sensation seeking that is risk behavior in all three areas evidence supports a modified storm and stress view that consider individual differences and cultural variations not all adolescents experience storm and stress but storm and stress is more likely during adolescence than at uh, other ages adolescent storm and stress tend to be lower in traditional cultures than in the west but may increase as globalization increases individualism Similar issues apply to minority cultures in American society. Finally, although the general public is sometimes portrayed by scholars as having a stereotypical view of adolescent storm and stress, both scholars and general public appear to support a modified storm and stress view. Although not all teenagers go through the storm and stress stage, Storm and stress is more likely to occur in teenagers than a child or adult. Research shows that storm and stress is milder in traditional cultures and more extreme in Western culture. But that as the world become a global village, the prevalence of storm and stress is likely to increase. With an average of two conflicts uh, every three days, 20 per month, adolescence can certainly be a stressful time for parents and teenagers. Interestingly, the higher number of conflicts found between mothers and teenage daughters, but it doesn't mean that your daughter hates you or doesn't want to have anything to do with you. More disruptions, including greater volatility and depression are more common in teenagers than in children or adults but are more common in the early and middle years of adolescence similarly uh, to conflicts with parents risky behavior drug and alcohol abuse criminal behavior dangerous uh, driving practices risky sexual behavior and actions that are dangerous to the teen or to others. On the other hand, it is more likely to occur in late adolescence and may persist into the early 20s. So this is all about storm and stress model and three key areas are very important uh, while studying uh, G. Stanley Hall's theory and these three key domain areas are conflict with parents, mood disruption, and risk behavior. So these three components will cover uh, the entire storm and stress model suggested by G. Stanley Hall in 1904. With that note, I will conclude today's session. Thank you. Have a nice day to you all.